Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, and the knowledge of the Holy One is understanding. He who walks in integrity walks securely. For hatred stirs up dissension, but love covers over a multitude of sins. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, to present your bodies living sacrifices to God, wholly acceptable, which is your reasonable service. And be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, that you may present what is that good and acceptable, perfect will of God. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me, shall hound me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. The Bible is a radical book. It offers no halfway measures. The power of everyone properly informed and edified, sufficient for overcoming the obstacles that stand in the way of our duty. If we but trust in the living, mighty and holy God, whether that duty be working for peace, and against war, whether that duty be destroying chains that impious hands have forged upon the divine form of our brother, to do his work in his kingdom and to pursue love and righteousness and therefore find real life, real truth, real freedom, real prosperity. The Bible certainly gets at the root of the problem. gets at the root of every problem. Well, I think it is that time. It's time to seek the